In this video, we will be modeling this cool looking building design in Revit. Now, before we begin, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. And if you are interested in learning advanced 3D modeling in Revit, you can check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com. Now, let's get started. So, here I am in Revit, and as usual, first we will create some new levels. Let's select this one and I'm going to make it 1 foot 6 inches. Now with this level selected, we can press CS on the keyboard to create similar. I'm going to create a new one at 10 feet. Let's hit escape and let's select this one and I'm going to create an array from here. Let's click here. Make sure move to is set to second. Now we want to create 12 levels, so I'm going to type in here 12. Let's hit enter. There we go. Now if you notice, we don't have these uh, levels showing up here in this floor plans list. So to see them, we can go to view. And let's click here, plan views, floor plan. And I'm going to hold shift key and select level 14 and click OK. There we go. We now have all of these levels showing up here. Let's go to level 2. And I'm going to create the building here. So let's go to architecture, select wall. And I'm going to select storefront from this drop down. And let's change the height to 9 feet. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to create a 50 feet by 30 feet rectangle. Let's select this one and make it 50 feet. And on this side, it should be 30 feet. Now let's tap select these walls and just try to drag them to the center here, like so. Let's go to 3D. As you can see, we have our curtain walls here. But here I want to remove the horizontal mullions. So let's select this one. Click Edit Type duplicate let's click ok here i am going to change the vertical spacing let's put three feet and we want to remove the horizontal mullions so let's remove this horizontal grid let's click ok click delete grid lines there we go let's use match properties ma and i am going to pick this one and select the three of these Okay, first let's click delete grid lines. Then I'm going to pick the other two as well. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and create the floor. So, okay, now here, uh, okay, before creating the floors, we just want to uh, change the corner mullions. So let's make a selection like this. We'll select all four of these corners. Then I'm going to unpin them by clicking here. Now let's change the mullion type to 5 inch by 5 inch quad corner. Click delete elements. There we go. Now we have this perfect corner mullions. Now I'm going to go to level 2 and we'll create the floor. Let's select floor from here and I'm going to create a rectangle like so and make sure we have this 12 inches floor selected. Let's click finish. Go to 3D. There we go. Now let's select all of these and then copy. We are going to copy them to level 3. Perfect. Here I am going to edit this floor. Just tap select this floor, double click on it and we'll go back to level 2 and uh, I'm going to create a three feet balcony here. So let's select rectangle and we'll give three feet offset. And I'm just going to create a rectangle like this. Now we will tap select this rectangle and delete. Let's click finish. Go to 3D. As you can see, we got this, we got this three feet balcony here. Now I am going to tap select these curtain walls. 
and then hold control key and select the floor and let's copy paste align to selected levels i'm going to copy them from level 4 to level 12 let's click ok there we go it's already looking pretty good now we can copy this floor to level 13 let's select level 13 here click ok and we'll create some walls here as well so let's press wa on the keyboard make sure storefront 2 is selected and let's give an offset here 10 feet hit space bar to draw this rectangle inside of this one like so and again we'll repeat the same with the corner mullions there we go let's go to 3d and we can just copy this floor again to uh, we'll just paste it to level 14 now let's double click on it to edit let's go to level 13 and I'm going to tap select this rectangle delete and then we'll create a new one with a two feet offset from this glass uh, from this curtain wall like so perfect I think we can tap select this curtain walls copy and this time we will paste them uh, I think we we did not create the level for this so let's tap select this curtain walls again copy paste align to same place we just click delete elements and we'll just give a base offset 10 feet there we go now we can just change it to generic 6 inches and change the unconnected height 2 feet there we go so we got this basic building here now let's go ahead and work on the facade design so I'm going to be using model in place to create this design so let's click this drop down select model in place and I am going to select generic models just click OK OK again and let's go to level 3 and I am going to select extrusion let's select rectangle and we'll create two rectangles here one around this glass and another one around this balcony let's click finish and we can just select this one and just drag it until this floor here like so now we want to create the rounded corners here so for that we can create void let's go back to level 3 and I'm going to select void extrusion from this drop down let's create a rectangle like so then I'm going to select fillet arc and let's give it a radius 3 feet and now we can just pick these corners like so then I'm going to create another rectangle outside of this let's click finish and as you can see the void is still selected we can just drag it through this extrusion like so let's deselect this there we go we now have this rounded corners but as you can see we need to cut these floors as well so for that we can use cut geometry tool make sure multiple cut is checked let's first select this void just hover over here and the void extrusion should highlight just click on it and now we can simply select these floors one by one perfect let's hit escape as you can see we got these rounded corners here 
now let's create the openings here and we are going to use void to create these openings first i will go to this south elevation and let's go to create void forms void extrusion and i'm just going to create a rectangle here uh, okay first we need to set the work plane click set here and then pick a plane and we'll pick this pick the face of this uh, extrusion or this wall here and let's start creating the design here i'm just going to create a rectangle let's give four feet offset here then i'm going to use fillet arc let's click on radius three feet radius and we'll just pick these corners then i'm going to increase the radius six feet and we'll pick these two lines i think we can I think we can we should try eight feet let's delete this line it's looking something like this let's click finish and we can just as you can see we, the handles are not visible here so first you need to deselect this then select this void again and now we should see these two handles let's drag it through this okay it it should be on this uh, on this side on the south so i'm just going to drag it here there we go we got this opening on this side first we will work on this elevation and then we'll work on the other side on the west side of this building so i will just quickly create the openings here using the same method so instead of creating a new void we can simply copy this one let's copy this to this floor and then we can just edit extrusion So I have created the openings on all the elevations. Now let's create a floor here. Let's go to level one, select floor, and I'm going to create a rectangle here. Let's give 12 feet offset, and we'll create a rectangle like this. Hit finish, go to 3D. We want to change the thickness of this floor. Let's click edit type duplicate it's going to be 18 inches because we want to add three steps let's put one foot six inches here click ok again and i think we should change the level let's select level two click ok okay so the floors are overlapping so let's edit this again go back to level one I will create another rectangle like this. Now it should work fine. Okay, here we want to create the steps. So for that, I'm going to uh, instead of uh, creating the steps, I'm just going to cut this floor using void. So let's select model in place again, and we'll select uh, generic models. Click OK. OK again. And let's go to level 1. Select void forms. Select void extrusion. And let's use pick lines. And we'll just pick the edges of this floor. And we'll give 5 feet offset on both sides. Let's just trim this. So we have created this rectangle here. Now I'm going to create an arc. 
let's create an arc like this i think we should just delete these lines and we'll create new lines like this let's hit finish go to 3d so this is our void here let's change the extrusion end to six inches then we can cut this white the geometry select this white and then floor so we have this first step let's go to front view and we can simply copy this one copy okay before that we need to dissociate this uh, void from this level so let's click edit word plane and click here dissociate then let's copy copy that here and then i'm going to edit this extrusion this time we will uh, use pick lines again and give one foot offset let's delete this one hit finish and i think we need to cut this void again there we go we got two steps and we'll use the same method to create the third one So we have created this cool looking building design in Revit. Check out my previous video to discover a helpful Revit hack for creating curved railings. That's all for this video but stay tuned for the next part where we will render this building in Enscape. If you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on Patreon and be sure to check out my Revit courses on learnrevitonline.com. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.